What is up everyone? Welcome to the Daily 3 Minute Gains. I'm Kevin with Gains Healthy Ways. I hope everyone had a wonderful 4th of July and if you don't celebrate the 4th, I just hope you all had a wonderful day. Uh, if you are new to this channel and you don't know what's going on, uh, we get 3 minute workouts every single day, so it would be awesome. I'd surely appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. We do different things uh, between education, gaining healthy lifestyles, um, along from working out to cooking, all that good stuff. Uh, today, if you don't know, uh, we're pretty much on like just the recovery of a torn AC joint or just a reactivated AC joint where initially last year around May, I tore it skating pretty hard. I slammed really hard on it. That's one way you could really tear your AC joint. Um, and then at work, the concrete guys forgot to patch the concrete and yeah, I pretty much or patched the floor to the basement when they were pouring for the concrete in the basement. And I, I pretty much fell through, caught myself on the joist base. As you can see, this was about a week and a half ago. I'm still feeling my AC joint pop up when I when I when I go up like this. Um, it's definitely starting to feel better compared to where it was. I did go to the doctor on it last year, and they said that it's just gonna take time to heal and pretty much I just reactivated. So I'm definitely questioning going and getting it rechecked out, which I'm pretty sure I should. Um, so that is in the midst, but as of getting rest, this is the biggest key of shoulder recovery is rest and me resting it this past weekend has actually helped me a lot. So we're gonna see where that gets me, but I still should get something figured out. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna get over into this daily three minute games. So I'm gonna hit that hit that button right there. Um, we're just gonna hop to it. Five, a four, a three, a two, and a one. All right. So like I said, first things first to AC joint injuries is you want to rest it. Uh, make sure you're you're all good. You're ready to go. You're not gonna be doing any shoulder extensions, abductions, anything like that. You're not gonna be flexing it up anything like that. You want to rest it, even put it in a sling. I've been running like this at the gym and it's been horrible. I've been having to run slower. Actually, I've been mostly on the Stairmaster. The running has been hurting and aggravating it. So like I said, I've been kind of just chilling. I tried running and it's not really that, that awesome right now. Um, but like I said, this rest has been awesome for me. I still have been going to the gym, getting some abs and I've barely been able to stretch. Uh, one of the symptoms is back pain up in the neck. Uh, upper and upper back so I have been dealing with that so uh, we're just working through it all we're going to hot tub making sure that we feel better but resting has been huge but we're, we're pretty much at the point where I can move it all the time all over at work I could go all the way up so we're gonna do this I feel confident enough to do this full workout for you because we're gonna go from the beginning stages to the end stages and the first thing you all want to do is get your range of motion back so we got a nice stick or just a barbell like an empty barbell and something light I would say probably a broomstick or something like that go with something light and you could use your non-dominant or your your healthy hand to get this range of motion back this is some nice stability help to get it moving so this is gonna be something we're gonna be doing to get that range of motion reactivated all right so here we go we're just gonna get that react reactivation we're going to end up switching over in directions because our main goal is to start going above over our head because we're not going to really be able to do that. But we're going to be wanting to cross over our body because that's going to be another thing with the AC joints. Crossing over hurts, going up above pinches as well. So we want to start working those range of motions. Once you get that, you can start hitting them just by yourself without anything just getting the shoulder used to the ranges of motion um the mechanics as well get the rubber band going this will start firing up the muscles and start activating the muscles again just like that start working it just do it to your tension that's gonna be comfortable we don't want to overdo it and we're gonna work our way up so i would say to sets of eight to start all right, two to three sets of eight starting off. Just nice and easy, working those. Get in the muscles, range of motion, stability, all that goodness. 
all different, all right? So here we go. And then we're gonna bring it over. We're, after we challenge ourselves here, Ooh, we, we, we're already done with three minutes, but we're gonna get that over and we're, we're gonna switch it up to our more intense. This is when we know we're good. We're, we're feeling good. Our range of motion is 100%. We're able to do some tension with this right here. Now we are gonna add weight to this equation, the shoulder under tension. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that our back is good st stabilization and our shoulder has good stabilization before we can even go into these workouts but we're going to start doing shoulder presses up with it and that's when we really know we're starting to get this is why uh, I haven't really been in a rush to go to an ER or anything like that but I do feel just with the popping and stuff maybe I should get this 100% figured out because I need to be lifting weights getting them gains with y'all but Anyways, we got those, some exercise to get us started. I know we're out of time, but as a little bonus, I'm gonna show you guys some exercise to get us started. You can just work on some external movements, just pushing out. Um, you could do a door, doorway, a pull, anything like that. Just pushing out with your, your own tension as strong as you could, you could go from the inside to the outside. Sorry, I'm dancing with y'all. I'm just trying to find a good angle. So here, I'll do it on this drum so you can see. Just pushing, pushing right here. I'm gonna feel it right here, just nice and easy. That's it, that's it. We're gonna go out, pushing out, pushing out away from us. We're gonna work all that. And then eventually, we can start working with super lightweight. This is like 2.5 pounds. We're gonna start working, working it all the way up. All the way up. Now we're gonna go right through the front, just like that. Once we get our shoulder all warmed up, get the motion back, get all the stability back using the bands, all that stuff like that, we're gonna be able to work all the tendons around the main AC joint. We're gonna bring it together and we're gonna make it feel better. So working our way small steps, physical therapy every single day. These are just some things you can do to help your AC joint. So I hope this was a benefit you for you all today on the daily three minute games. I know it was like a daily six minute one today, but uh, this was one that I want. I felt the need to show you as I'm going through these issues and I had already had to go through it last year, but here we go again, making it happen. And this time I'm gonna do a better job uh, with the physical therapy as well. So I hope y'all do this as well. And if you have any other injuries, please, please focus on your physical therapy, whether it's your knee, your hip, whatever that, and stretch, 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 stretch. I'll tell you right now, since I haven't, I've been limited on my stretches because my shoulder, there's things that I'm just like, man, oh man, I need to get to stretching again. And lately I've been feeling a little bit better, so we're gonna get it. So I hope y'all have a wonderful day and stay happy and stay healthy. Peace.